Jim Stevenson with L3 Avionics. We're standing here in front of a display of your brand new GH3900. What's new about this product and what niche are you looking to fill with it? Hi, Tom. Thanks. Yes, this is uh, basically our next generation solid state glass standby. So about 15 years ago, we introduced what was essentially the first solid state standby. And in 15 years, it was time for a little facelift. So what we have now is the GH3900. So basic functions, it provides attitude, airspeed, and altitude with options for heading display. And it can also be interfaced to the navigation equipment on the airplane. So you can see your ILS, VOR, FMS, DME information, even TACAN. So this instrument is primarily used in business jets and transport helicopters and it's a backup to the primary Collins, Honeywell, or Universal EFIS that's in the aircraft. So this would basically take the place of a backup three stack? Yes, yeah. so you go down to one LRU, you can eliminate some other heavy uh, systems in the airplane. Less than three pounds, it's been weighing in at about two and a half pounds. Very simple for the pilot to use. And one of the benefits of the glass standby over the analog is you give the pilot the same picture they've been looking at, and the installer on this unit can configure it to match the primary EFIS, the coloring, the way the tapes roll and click, and the unit can be in the metric system or you know in the US system with uh, feet, millibars, or inches of mercury. So it's highly configurable and matches the primary EFIS. What kind of acceptance are you getting for this product as you roll it out of the box? Uh, that's been wonderful. Actually, the initial version of this was, was certified about two months ago, and it, we provide it to Collins as part of their fusion cockpit. So there are several aircraft platforms that have already begun to fly with this. The aircraft manufacturers, of course, uh, always love something that's lighter and lower cost, and this new unit is lower cost than our previous standbys for that market. And in the retrofit market, the response we've had from the dealers this week as we've introduced it is they love the ability to program this unit in the field and upload software in the field. So big advantages for the dealer and the customer to be able to do more in the field without having to return it to the factory. You said the first version came out about 15 years ago. What are the upgrades on the 3900? Ah, good question. So smaller, lighter, and lower cost for starters. But we also were able to enhance the software over the years and the unit now can uh, have an internal air data computer or an external air data computer or interface to an, an outside air for you know, our air, external air data computer essentially or anyone else's. So there's a lot of flexibility where it can go from a completely independent standalone indicator to a display head with no sensors at all. So it has basically one unit, a hardware superset with a single load of software, then it's configured in the field to meet in the needs of varying aircraft uh, specifications. And what are the pilots who have actually flown this unit telling you about it? That's, uh, that's the best part. When people look at it, sometimes, you know, uh, the backup instrument isn't thought of in the same way as the primary, but once anyone's flown with this instrument, they tell us they never want to go back to the steam gauges. So, yeah. Kim Stevenson with L3 Avionics, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. Thank you, Tom.